Hey everyone, Jason Hill here. And a few months ago, my dad and his friends went out of San Diego to do some deep sea fishing and they caught a lot of ahi tuna. And of course, when we brought it back, we were eating it fresh for a while, but there's only so much you can, you know, eat. So we had to freeze some. And I have a food sealer that I freezed the uh, steaks with. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a ahi tuna burger using the tuna. It's really good and it's on a brioche bun. I got a little lettuce, buttered lettuce, tomato, and then we do a sriracha mayo. If you're liking these videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, every time we make a video, you'll be notified. All right, I have a pound of ahi tuna. You can use any other tuna that you like. Just make sure it's sushi grade or freshly caught. I want to get this fine as possible and you have to have a really sharp knife. And this is still partially frozen so it's kind of easier to cut than it would be if it was totally thawed. All right, very cool. We've got it all diced up so all you're gonna do now is just transfer it to a mixing bowl. All right. Okay, now we're going to season up the tuna starting with a tablespoon of toasted sesame seed oil. We've got two tablespoons of soy sauce followed by a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. You can add more if you like more spice or less. One beaten egg. And I have panko breadcrumbs, three quarters of a cup. And then a half cup diced of yellow bell pepper and a half a cup of chopped chives from my garden. And you're going to want to go in here and mix it by hand, gently, bringing everything together. So the bread, uh, panko breadcrumbs are going to help hold these patties consistency, as well as the egg. So I just grab a small amount, form a patty, and then transfer them to a casserole dish. There's one patty down. I just like to get like a good handful. So it looks like I'm gonna have about enough for five patties. This one's gonna be a little smaller, but that's okay. We can give that to Junior, whoever that is. Okay, cool. Our patties are made up. Now I'm gonna cover and they need to go into the refrigerator for about 15 to 25 minutes so they'll firm up a little more. And while they're in the refrigerator, perfect time to make your sriracha mayo. And here's a link to my video on my recipe. I pulled them out of the refrigerator. They were in there for about 20 minutes. So now at this point, I'm gonna do a little seasoning, just a little salt from the heavens on each side. And then fresh cracked pepper. And I'll turn them over and do the same thing. All right, so I have my saute pan preheating on medium high. I'm just gonna drizzle in a little bit of vegetable oil so we can saute these burgers up. I'm just gonna drop one in for now. Okay, after three minutes, I'm gonna give it a little turn. Oh, look at that. Nice golden brown. Okay, after another three minutes, Time to take it off the heat and let's go make our burger. Okay, I'm starting with a toasted brioche hamburger bun. You can use whatever favorite bun you like. And I'm going to go big on the sriracha mayo. Make sure it gets all the way to the edges. Right at the top too. Grab the burger patty, set it right on top. A couple of pieces of butter lettuce, followed by tomato, and then our top. There is our ahi tuna burger. All right, everyone, it's time to eat. And like I say, if you're liking these videos, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for us. All right, here we go. Mmm. 
A little spicy, savory. If you like tuna burgers, give this recipe a try. And as always, folks, thanks for tubing in. Mm. That's good.